Oh, oh yeah. We still got to talk about the high school powerlifting. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That was the good old days. <laughs> We're gonna have a conversation. We're gonna have a conversation here. Yeah, buddy. Somebody asked me, how do you get motivated for these kids today? But don't you think in health and fitness, most of the guys are doing it just for the physique nowadays. When we grew up, and it wasn't. Yeah, it, was it wasn't about that. Weight. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You didn't, you didn't know about no physique. <laughs> I didn't really learn about physique until I got to college, to be honest with you. One of my instructors uh, said, man, big arm there, those look like they about 22 inches. I'm like, no, dude, nowhere near it. They said, I, I bet you. I'm like, all right, you got to bet. They got up in tape measure, it was 21 and a half. I'm like, damn. How old were you? I was uh, 21. I was 21 at the time. Because of my junior year in college, you know, powerlifting, you know, it's all about strength and power. Right. You don't really care about how you look, you know. And being, Even though you being look that, like that. Yeah, yeah, but still being, you know, you know, when you're young, you ain't getting into that yeah. kind of stuff. Especially when I grew up where I'm from, I'm from a small town. We only had about 15,000 people. We had basketball, football, and uh, baseball. And, and none of those sports got anything to do with a feet, you know. It's all about power and how, how strong you are. We had a lot of strong guys, too, where I'm from. We never heard of bodybuilding where I'm from. Nobody did. But it, it, it wasn't a sport that we competed well, the in. the first pro that came out of Texas. I was born and raised in Louisiana. I went to Texas when I graduated college. I graduated college in Louisiana also. You know the first pro that came out of Texas as a bodybuilder. Louisiana had no uh, professional. I was the first yeah. one out of Louisiana, state of Louisiana for sure. But nobody, nobody in Louisiana, Louisiana is just not a state known for uh, uh, bodybuilding. Is that the thing? I, I played football. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I wasn't. I wasn't just into uh, work, working out and stuff. I was into football. I was trying to do what I can to be a better football player. So I left the weights for that. Get you to school. Just yeah, going. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. Man, what are you talking about, man? We don't do the criticism of, of being balanced or anything. We just train. Yeah. Everything yeah. else came afterwards. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Side effects. Yeah. The love That's of the way it was. That's why I didn't get into bodybuilding until I was 24, almost 25. After I graduated college and worked for a couple of years. See, that's cool, man. I think that's why we're all so mental. Yeah. In that state that we love it. Yeah. But uh, people say, what's the advice you can give me in the gym? And I said, the gym is not the advice. Is you continue in life and working through life to keep doing what you're doing in the gym. And everything else comes after, you know? So they think, you know, being a bodybuilder is about lifting only and being. We're good, running you over. Six days a week. Well, when they ask, uh, are you retired? I'm like, Ronnie's not retired, guys. And the thing is that. It's about the passion of lifting. It wasn't for the physique. It wasn't for the money. It was because we freaking love lifting. And so I'm just saying that. He didn't even know about it until he's 45. <laughs> <laughs> I know anything about it. So if you're not chasing the money, you're chasing your laws. Well, your laws should be only chasing you're the money in the bank. Well, you know what? It's interesting, too, because so many people have their own reasons why they start anything. And one of the things I think is so amazing about this sport and this experience is that you can start it from as humble a beginning as wherever you are. You know, sometimes people imagine that they can't start to live a healthier lifestyle or begin to start to exercise or take more care. Yeah, that's kind of where it was with me. That's where it was with me. I didn't think I'd do uh, healthy, healthy kind of food. I ate pizza and hamburger, you know, french fries, stuff like that, fried chicken. I, I had no interest in no diet kind of stuff. That's it. That's what turned me off of bodybuilding. You only apply the dieting and everything else when it came to, now I have to do this to achieve that look, to win on that stage. Exactly. <laughs> that's, when I, that's, when I, that's when I was convinced. That's when I changed it. You know, one of the things I think is, is really awesome about hearing you say that, as a champion that's achieved as much as you have, 
to understand that it could start with as humble a beginning as not knowing so much about nutrition and not being as aware of every exercise to do to develop every extreme body part in the most extreme way. Because the level you went from here. Yeah. It was a process though. Somebody asked me one time, I was in a similar like, would you change anything about your entire life? Oh, <laughs> <laughs>